All right, guys. I'm going to finally give you an update. I've got a 89 Mustang. It's a GT hatch. Uh, straight car. You can see in my other videos. Before, I had a 302, then went to a 347. Now I've gone to uh, shave in the engine bay. I'm going with a black engine bay. I know some people won't like that, but, you know, I like the resto mod kind of muscle car look. Uh, so this car, pretty straight. Uh, I bought this car in 2009. It's got about 84,000 miles on it right now. Um, and I'm getting ready to swap it back to an automatic. So I'm in the middle of uh, doing the pedal swap. So you can see right here that I've put in the Scott Rod panels. I wanted to kind of shave shave the engine bay. And uh, I'm going to be tucking the wires to uh, maybe not a hundred percent tuck, but most of the wires are going to be hidden and I'm going to be relocating the battery to the back. And I'm also going to be doing it with a uh, NHRA approved uh, cutout switch so I can run it at the track. Okay, so going in, I've got a, it's a stock block 351 Windsor. It's been stroked to a 414. I'm running AFR 205 heads. Uh, i got an Edelbrock. Um, I've got an Edelbrock Super Victor EFI, so I'm going to be running the stock uh, stock ECU. Obviously, it'll be tuned, uh, for basically forged uh, rotating assembly. Um, I'm going to be going over. I'll do a whole engine video here coming up. Uh, engine I had built by Jim Woods at Ford Strokers. And then mating up to that, as I said previously, I'm going with a Lentec AOD. You start getting this kind of horsepower because I'm this is going to be supercharged. I don't want to have a big cam and have to deal with all the drivability issues. So drivability is a big fo big focus of this. Uh, I might give a, a little bit of 60 foot, but I really want to uh, want to make sure that this thing isn't a dog. You know, when you're driving around, this is basically a street strip car. You can see in here uh, one of the things you got to deal with, and I'll make an entire video. Um, not too many videos out there really cover the level of detail uh, when you're doing a 351 swap. Um, way more expensive, a lot more involved than you take, you know, I think than a lot of people uh, take into account. But I'm going to basically be doing a, fuel, uh, a full fuel system swap. And I got, the, you can see in there, I've got the Holly, um, Holly 450 or 450 liter per hour pump with the special Holly bracket. And it's got the special... Uh, return to stop the cavitation so the return goes all the way back to the bottom of the tank so it doesn't splash around. I'm dealing with a lot of hardware right now. Uh, I'm going to be painting it and cleaning it up. Um, I'm going with the AGE um, K member. It's a universal so if for some reason uh, down the road I ever swap engines yet again. Uh, basically all I have to do is change the engine mount. I don't need to change to a whole new K member. It's one of the advantages of this. I did look at going to the Maximum Motorsports and basically the universal design of the AJE is why I went with them. Uh, simply because I seem to change my mind and, and get the urge to do different builds. So in the future, if I change something, all I got to do is I just need to change the A-arms or change the, just simply change the motor mounts and uh, I'm good to go. I don't have to take the whole thing apart again. So as I mentioned, uh, I am swapping back to an AOD. Uh, this car was originally came from factory. Uh, it had an AOD in it. I went to a TKO, and with the 347 and the big cam, I made good power, but the drivability wasn't that great. So, um, you know, with this, I'm I'm expecting 600-ish to the wheels, 650-ish maybe, depending on how much boost we're running. And uh, so I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm not going to use the stock shifter. I'm going to use the B&M shifter and uh so this is actually coming up here in the next day or two i'll be swapping the pedal back in putting the booster back in so another part of this build uh going boosted i'll be putting in uh fuel and boost gauges you know basically so i can see where i'm at as i'm heading down the track and of course last but not least is the blower itself this is actually the vortec ti trim they actually call it the ti trim race it's called a tuner Tuner kit, it, I bought it from uh, Anderson Ford Motorsports. Uh, I think it was a pretty good deal. I think they've gone up quite a bit since I bought this. I bought this maybe about a year and a half ago. Um, but it, they do call it their TI race trim. Uh, so I'm expecting 
you know, I do got to protect the block. I got a stock block. I'm going to basically uh, working with the engine builder. We're going to be targeting about 10, 12 pounds of boost, which should be plenty without uh, jeopardizing the block. I want to go much more than that. I'd have to swap and get into a start getting into a dart. So for my exhaust, um, turns out you can't even get these headers anymore. Uh, it was RCI headers. I guess the guy that used to work for Acufab. I guess an older gentleman recently passed in January, so I'm not even sure if RCI headers even exist. These were custom headers that were built to be on a 351 base block to go around an AOD. Uh, so anyways, then I had them ceramic coated, and uh, we should be good to go there. Hopefully no fitment issues, because if there is, there's nobody to return it to or, or work with. I guess I'll be on my own. Uh, then the other issue I have is my suspension. So I'm still running... Um, stock springs on this car or i was so these are the sve lowering springs um, i'm just sticking with stock springs i don't need anything super super fancy uh, i do want the car to have a little bit a uh, little bit more aggressive stance so these drop the car about an inch inch and a half so just a little bit of a uh, little bit more hot rod look without being too aggressive and slamming it to the ground so for my shocks, I'm going to be running the Lakewood 9010 setup, kind of an old school setup. These are actually my old uh, Motorcraft. Uh, the shocks are actually really in good shape, uh, despite being over 30 years old. I'll probably keep them in a bin, just maybe for sentimental reasons, or if somebody really, really wants, you know, OEM stuff, I pretty much don't throw any of that stuff away. But uh, Lakewood 9010 is what I'm going with. So then going back to the K member, uh, kind of really, the, you know, one of the biggest reasons why I went to uh, the aftermarket K member is really for clearance issues. Uh, the more I research it and um, a lot of consulting of people who've done 351 swaps, the fitment issues, you know, especially from car to car can be quite significant. So uh, basically uh, with the car already stripped down, it made sense to go to an aftermarket K member. But the biggest thing is it doesn't have those big hunking chunks of metal like in the stock K-member. And those pieces are what cause all your issues with headers and clearing the steering rack. So I'm hoping that with this aftermarket rack that, you know, when I stab in this motor that it goes a lot cleaner than it would if I was using a, a stock K-member. And so then the last piece of this, you know, before I let you guys go, is for my hood clearance issues... I'm going to be running the 95 Cobra R, which was a hood literally designed to fit a Fox chassis and clear the 351 Windsor. So that's going to be the, you know, kind of one of the last things I'll do. I think I'm actually, once I get the motor in, uh, I think I'm going to get the car up and running, get it rolling uh, over the next couple weeks, get it to the paint shop, and then finish everything else with the fenders and hood already on once I have the motor back in. That way I don't have to deal with it. And, Pretty hard right now chasing parts. I think I have everything I need. Uh, it's been a real struggle waiting for parts uh, as well as getting people to actually work on anything, getting paint or any kind of labor or any, any kind of help like that. It's been a challenge. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys like what you see. You know, Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'll be posting videos over the next coming weeks as I, as I chunk through each of the various projects. And uh, with that, have a good one.